guys, so welcome back to my channel and this is going to be my week 15 video for pregnancy. I am so excited we've made it this far and I cannot wait till December. It's just not coming fast enough. I'm going to jump right into it because I want to keep the videos as short as possible. So my symptoms for this week have been different, a lot different than the first trimester. I see a noticeable change in a lot of my symptoms that I've had. So this week something new is um, my heartburn. It, it's, it's heartburn to the extreme. It has been, it's to the point where it's so bad where I want to cry, but I haven't taken anything for it. I'm told that Tums are okay to take during pregnancy. However, I've just been drinking a glass of milk. You're getting your dairy, which is good. And it's been working okay. So I'm just going to stick with that until I absolutely can't take it anymore. And then maybe I'll result to Tums or I don't know. But the heartburn is ridiculous. And especially for Canada Day, I had a bag of chips and it was... Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, I felt it for three days. My morning sickness has subsided quite a bit. I don't have it at all. However, I did wake up a few times with a bit of an upset stomach and then I vomited and I was fine the rest of the day. That has only happened three times. And then after that, I was a bit nauseous for about half an hour and that's it. So it's not going on all day anymore. It's just a tiny bit in the morning. So now I can actually call it morning sickness instead of nausea. But I've also had an, or noticed an increase in my appetite. I feel like I'm never full. It's, I will eat and eat and eat. And like my stomach gets super tight and hard. Like, it, you know, when you're bloated and your stomach is so full, you got to unbutton that first button in your jeans. Well, I'm getting that feeling, but I'm still hungry. Like my stomach feels tight, like I'm bloated, but I don't feel bloated. I feel, I just feel like I had a little snack and I'm still hungry. But I'm trying not to continue eating because I've talked to a few other mothers who've experienced the same thing and they've continuously ate and found themselves way overweight than what they should have been and then it's harder to get rid of after pregnancy so i am definitely trying to control what i'm eating still getting in my calories i should have at least 2200 a day going back to the tight stomach feeling i I'll get it without eating too. So I'll randomly, it'll just get really, really hard, and really tight, and there's no pain. It's just, it feels like stretching. Like I, I feel my skin like tight, tight, tight. So I went on Google again, it's my best friend, and I searched for things, and the only thing that matches my symptoms was the Braxton Hicks contractions. Now, they say you normally don't get those until about 20 weeks and you feel pain, or like mild, mild pain, but I, there's no pain with it. So this is just an assumption. I have no idea what it is. I haven't spoke to my doctor yet about it. It's complete. I feel like it's normal. I feel like it's nothing to worry about, so I'm not stressing over it. And... Yeah, so from what I've read, it sounds like Braxton Hicks because people could get them from as early as 14 to 15 weeks. And the symptoms kind of match except for the pain. Like, I have round ligament pain, but I've had that for a little while and that has been normal. It's just the insides of my stomach just making room and this is all new for my body. It's never experienced this before. So all those pains are kind of going on in there. <laughs> I, it also says that I should be starting to feel kicks anytime, if not this week, next week. However, being a first time 
mom, first time pregnancy, I probably won't be able to tell the difference between a kick or like a gurgle. So I'm really looking forward to feeling that first kick. I'm so excited. I thought I felt the flutter. I thought I felt something different, but then I haven't felt it since. So chances are that was probably a gurgle. It wasn't the same. Like it never happened again. So I can't wait to feel that first kick. I'm told it's amazing. Um, moving on, I have back aches that have continued for the last two, three weeks, and it's in my lower back, especially at work. Like, by the time I'm done my shift at work, my back is just killing me. Yesterday, when I got home from work, I literally went into the pool, and the water just felt so nice, the cool water. I don't know what else to do. I haven't really looked up anything because I don't want to put any hot packs back there. It's summer, so it's really hot right now anyway. I don't want any heat on me. But I don't think that's good if you can't go to a spa or a sauna or something like that. Then I don't imagine putting a hot pack on your back is any good. But anyway, the cold water seems to help in the pool. So that's what I've been doing. And I find my back, lying flat on my back helps, but I know you're supposed to lie on your left side. I haven't talked to my doctor about if I could still lie on my back now since it's still early in the pregnancy, but lying on my back helps, but then I feel the stretching in my stomach from the ligament pain, so it, there's no winning right now. My sleeps are pretty uncomfortable. I surround myself in pillows. I have not got a pregnancy pillow yet, the body ones, but... I do have large body length pillows that I'm just like surrounding myself with for comfort and it's been working so far. And another thing that I'm going to mention, it's not very pleasant to hear or to talk about, but I'm going to be honest and tell you all my symptoms because I enjoyed watching other YouTube videos where they had mentioned everything and like it made me feel better going into pregnancy saying oh someone's had this before and it's, it seems pretty normal so um yeah I'm gonna say it out there so I have noticed an increase in vagina discharge <laughs> and even though it sounds disgusting it's a good thing because it helps prevent any infections getting to the baby so because it is completely safe to do intercourse during pregnancy and that discharge helps protect anything going in from helps to protect the baby <laughs> I'm gonna stop there all right moving on my acne has continued however my dry skin has kind of gone away but the acne has continued all along my face here my neck it kind of went away it started to disappear a little bit but it, it's kind of coming back I don't know if you can see I'm wearing quite a bit of makeup today so but my dry skin I could I've noticed that it I could shower without my skin being dry like when I get out of the shower before, my skin would go like white, like it was so dry, but now it's just, it's staying nice and normal. However, when I went swimming yesterday and I got out of the pool, my skin was super dry, but that's probably due to the chlorine and everything else, all the other chemicals in the water. So another thing I want to talk about is hair. So what I've learned and what I've read, everything I've known and thought was that when you get pregnant your hormones make your hair grow like crazy. My body must be different because my hair is not growing like crazy. <laughs> it was at the beginning and the first trimester, I don't know if I mentioned this in the first trimester video, but I was getting hair on my belly, I was, my hair on my legs was growing overnight, I hair everywhere. Like, it was crazy. 
So, but eventually it started to subside. It was going, like, not going away, but now if I shave my legs, I can go a good three, four days, like, without anything, without having to shave anything or, so it's, it's growing back slower and it's also growing back thinner, which is really nice. Um, I noticed it in my hair as well. I last got my hair colored in April, right when we found out we were pregnant. And um, I haven't had it done since. And my roots are not even an inch long. So my hair is definitely not growing as fast as it was. So I'm hoping that's due to hormones. And it's kind of a good thing if you think about it. It's cheaper to get my roots done now because I won't have to go every month like I was. Down to my weight gain, I have still not gained any weight. I have actually lost and I do believe it is my muscle mass that I'm losing because I am definitely not working out like I should be, like I was and it is definitely showing a fact I feel weak. <laughs> My muscles, like there's nothing there. The tone, all the toning is gone, completely gone. My legs, my arms, because my belly is noticeably larger. And you can definitely tell there's a baby in there. But I need to work out. I need to find my motivation. That is another symptom. No motivation. My days off from work, I, I barely get out of bed. I'm just so tired. I'm so lazy I just want to eat and sleep and watch a movie and it's awful so I have a giant note in my little book here saying work out <laughs> so that pretty much covers all of my symptoms for week 15 and I overall I'm feeling a little bit more motivated I have a bit more energy I'm not tired I'm not so sick I am um, I did have a plan to, I wanted to make a five day meal plan and try to follow that. So that's my plan. I'm going to try that and then I will let you know my week, uh, my week 16 video. So my only products I had picked up this week was another lotion for stretch marks. I have noticed that I do around my belly button. I have like round stretch marks. I don't think they're new. I think they were old. I just never noticed them before. But now that my stomach is more extent, more out <laughs> and it's stretched, you can see the stretch marks around the belly button. So I kind of panicked and we were in the store the other day. I picked this up at Sally, Sally's and um, it's just a stretch mark cream. It's the Palmer's. A lot of people, I, almost everyone uses this. Everyone that I know. It's really popular. I think they sell a lot of this at Walmart, Target, Babies R Us. Almost everywhere. It's, it's for the stretch mark cream. So that's it. Palmer's. It has an extremely chocolate smell. <laughs> It smells like I melted an aero bar and just smeared it all over my body. So, if you really love chocolate, you'll love this. This, But, because of pregnancy and probably my smell is enhanced a lot, like, it's a bit too much chocolate for me. I'd like something with a more, much more mild scent to it. I'm going to show you guys my baby bump so far. And we'll wrap it up after that. Here we go. So I'm wearing a dress today, so I won't be showing you underneath my belly, but. So this is from the front. You can't really tell, except you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a shadow here that when I was flat, you didn't really see that shadow in this dress again. Like I said, I have a lot of fitted clothing, so there's not much else to wear. This is my bump from the side. 
it's really starting to pop a little bit there. And it's pretty exciting. From the back, I don't think you can really tell yet, except for the fact that I've kind of lost my lift in the rear. But for sure in the belly. And if you're looking at it really closely, I find you notice that <clears throat> I feel like I'm carrying more on the left side. There's like a little bit of a bigger bump there. And then my last ultrasound, I uh, that's pretty much where she was going to see the picture of the baby. It was the left side. So for sure, he has been hanging out on the left side. Yes, I've been calling him a he, and I'm going to continue calling him a he because I'm confident it's a boy <laughs> until we find out the sex, which is in another four weeks. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my week 15 video, and I hope to see you guys next week for week 16. Have a good one, everyone.